Hello again, Steve here with a few comments on a theory that I came up with a few years back. I call it the continuum of advancement. It's this theory that within each and in every one of us is this desire for a better quality of life. And it shows itself by our tendency to run into things we don't want, feel states we don't want, be in circumstances we don't want. We feel poor at times, we feel rejected, we feel overweight, we feel unloved, we feel unhealthy, and so on. So consequently, we want to feel healthier, we want to feel loved, we want to feel accepted, we want to feel more wealthy, we want to feel more healthy. If I haven't repeated myself somewhere there. We want, and, and, and those wants, of course, we call them sometimes desires. We desire in the form of sometimes a physical thing. We want to feel accepted. That can be manifested in, gee, I want that nicer look at house on the block so people will look at me. You know? And we go through a process of either attempting to get that, getting it, or dreaming about it in various states of lack of finality in between. So we have that desire, we create some sort of a vision of it, in the case of getting a house, it's a plan, it's a drive around, look at the neighborhood in the form of finding a mate. It's, you know, anything from just a little bit of flirting all the way to full-on masturbation, right, and, and fantasies like that. It's all the extremes. So there's this creation, the creative vision, right? And then there's the actual belief in the possibility. Because if we don't have the belief in the possibility, it's merely daydreams. Somebody who's stuck only in the dreams of the lover, only in the dreams of the house that they want or the job they want, and so on. It's just a daydreamer, right? Can have the desire and the vision, but without the actual belief that it's possible, it stops. With the belief that it's possible, the certainty, comes the will to act. To act out of the norm. So to ask the girl to go out, to take the steps to getting the mortgage approval or lining up the contractors or going down and seeing that car or whatever it is. And with that will to act, when the, when the actions are done purposefully and with a certainty that they're actually doing, being effective, a degree to which anyways, and they're continued to be improved upon, with those actions, or actions like the old saying where the rubber meets the road, we get to where we want to go. So the continuum of advancement, I would say, that, that exists in every one of us. And as a result, as a whole, as a whole bunch of people, as a society we might call, we might call a group of us as a society, we continue to advance. And yes, we go through our dark ages and come out into our renaissance and so on. But we continue on an upward trajectory. Today, I was starting to go through, actually yesterday, I was starting to go through an ancient piece of literature, a poem, I guess, Homer's Iliad. And though it's very, uh, I had never looked at this thing before, but it's another example of how, you know, immature, almost, uh, barbaric, sexist, uh, what else did I say, violence, violent, um, chauvinistic, and so on, society has been, and certainly incredibly superstitious. I mean, the whole story is about, is about a bunch of tantrums which result in bloodbaths. And of course, it's a, a fantastical viewpoint which, you know, exists even today with the concepts of gods and government and so on. That existed then. They had all these tyrannical gods who were like in a pissing match often amongst themselves. And, you know, speaking to to these warlords through like, you know, talking snakes who ate nine sparrows and things like that. I mean, just, just absolutely mind-boggling. 
And these were an advanced civilization, we have to remember at the time, you know, several thousand years ago. So it gives me great hope for us in terms of our continued improvement in, quality, in the quality of our life to see how, you know, the pinnacle of society was just incredibly barbaric at the time, at least as described in this in this uh, story by Homer or this Iliad. I just wanted to share that once again, just to touch on it again, because this I came up with it a few years back now, probably as many as seven years ago, this continuum of advancement. And I have yet to see it as fallible. I have yet to see it as fallible. It just plays out everything I look at and the, and the way it helps me to just to understand myself in terms of self-knowledge and to understand others in where the breakdowns take place. Why it is I don't achieve things. Why it is others don't achieve things. It's like a chain. And if there's a broken link in that chain, it cannot pull. It cannot pull through to the desired results. If you want more information on it, I describe it fairly well in uh, online newsletter, which still exists now. I may take it down eventually, called flatbellyfeeling.com. You can also pick up a copy somewhere. I think you can get it on the web still. A copy of my book, um, Free Your Inner Genie. Free Your Inner Genie. And um, don't know where else. Probably in some of my blogs online. Certainly in other videos that I did too. I described it before. Once again, the continuum of advancement it is completely based in quality of life experience I chart it on a a graph an X and Y graph chart where the horizontal line is time which is you know how we achieve things is through time and the vertical is quality of life because as we because the the undesirable is is down here right and then we want the desirable and the desirable is in counteraction to the undesirable if I'm feeling unhealthy I want to feel healthier if I'm feeling unappreciated I want to feel appreciated and so on so it's like a rising in quality of life it's sort of the driving force for us right we want to we want to have um, physical sensations which are pleasurable and we want to have emotional or mental, uh, the mental um, emotions are like the mental equivalent of sense data or senses. For The senses, physical senses are for the, the body, the emotions are for the mind, you might say. So we want good, pleasurable physical sensations and wonderful quality of life experiences in terms of mental things like happiness, joy, love, appreciation, all these sorts of things, I would say. Hope this is helpful once again. Continuum of advancement. I will look at it sometime. See what you think. All the best for now. Talk